video. Do you, do you see these bags under my eyes? Do you see them? The bags that are there. This is um called stress, my friends. I am I am uh, currently getting ready to move out of my house. Um, I didn't really announce it or make a formal video of it, but um, yeah, it kind of went. It moved really fast. It. We were looking to to get a new home because we were thinking about how our house is kind of small. It's on the small side, and you know, we wanted something bigger to be for our forever home. And um, you know, so we started looking into houses and uh, other houses that you know, within our budget and means and everything like that. And we actually happened to find a house that we really liked. Uh, but <laughs> we're at a kind of a weird time right now because it's like an opportune time to sell right now. So we're trying to sell the house. And we literally just, I'm not joking, we uh, put the... Um, how we're going to be putting our house on the market this Saturday or Monday, I think that's our goal. So I have been doing nothing but cleaning my house like a crazy mad woman. And, uh, I am at the last part ish last part of cleaning my, my house, which is going to be cleaning my hobby room and packing my hobby room. I've already gone through and kind of gutted some of the stuff that needed to be thrown away or donated. And now I'm doing the tough part, which is gonna be boxing my dolls. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to be like one of those like people that are like, oh, they're my babies, I'm gonna start crying and you know, which, you know, people are like, that's cool and all, but I, I'm, I'm very chill with my dolls. But honestly, I've never packed them and put them away for this long. I've you know, when I moved to this house from my mom's house, it was, I took a, what was it? It was like, it was like a day or something like that. And then I unpacked my dolls and it was fine. Since I'm building, I'm building a house, it's going to be something along the lines of four months. So I'm going to be living back at my old house. So some of my YouTube videos that I do, um, after this point ish um will look familiar because i used to shoot my videos in that house and uh so yeah we're going to be living with my mom for a bit for about four months or until the house is finished being built the builders told us maybe hopefully three months and uh as soon as that is finished being built we'll move into the house but in the meantime all of our stuff you know, everything needs to be put into storage. And I obviously can't take all my dolls with me. <laughs> as much as I would love to take all my dolls with me, I cannot take all my dolls with me. So uh, I have to pack them. Uh, and a part of me is kind of stressed because I know no one's going to break into our storage unit and steal my dolls. But I guess I'm kind of more stressed that they're going to be in the storage unit for that long. And I want to pack them and put them away nicely as much as I can. And I think we're trying to shoot to get a aircon storage unit. Because if not, yeah, it would be extra scary for them to be in a storage unit and it's really hot. You know, resin plus heat would not be a good combination. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start packing them and putting them away in their boxes. And I think what I'm gonna have to do for all of these guys, like my little Kujo friends and Opitsu friends, I'm probably gonna end up putting them all together. Since they're ABS, it doesn't really matter. And not a lot of them have like super duper, like, you know, crazy face ups that I'm gonna be really sad if something happens to it. I'm going to still try to put them away nicely, but I think I'm going to put them in my doll carrier bag 
I'm going to put all of those things in the doll carrier bag. And then everybody else should have a box. So I'm going to put them back in their boxes. And if it, they don't have a box, I'm probably going to double them. Like I'll put two dolls in one box if I can. I don't know if I can. I'll try to and see if I can. But yeah, because I know like my some of my tiny, like my USDs, I don't think I have boxes for some of them. But for majority of them, I do. So I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> I'm kind of sad. I'm so used to seeing them there. Like, you know, I could open the door and then they're all kind of just chilling here. So, and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to take with me. Like, which ones I want to keep out. I mean, obviously, one of them is going to be Kai. And I really want to bring you away, too. I have a feeling it's probably going to be Kai, you, and Gra. Those are the three I'm probably going to take with me. My little golden trio. And I'll take them with me to the house. But I won't be bringing any accessories or anything for them. I'm just going to bring them that kind of as is. But I'll probably keep their boxes off to the side because I'm going to put them in their boxes. So, yeah. Um, so to the friends that are here... I did turn on the Q&A app, and I apologize last time because I started rambling, and then I had a couple people that asked how I was answering questions. I actually don't know what it looks like. I think there's a button or something at the, maybe like when you're making a comment or something, but it's the Q&A app is what I have that is up, so I think that's probably the best way if you want to ask me something while I'm if you want to tell me something, that's probably the best way to communicate with me because, um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to tell you. So, uh, I just noticed too that this thing is running in the background, and I don't know what would happen if I press the X button on it. But oh shoot, I don't want to like mess it up. I hope that didn't mess it up. Because I, I don't want my computer like, to overheat because it's like trying to do that and this at the same time. But yeah, it should be somewhere. I don't know what it is. I think it is a button or something. I can try to look it up, look at it really quick and see what happens. Let me see. Uh, yeah, there is a thing at the bottom and it says, it's in the actual video. It's an orange little pop-up box and it says, be part of the conversation. And it says, click here to join the audience for this hangout. Yeah. That's not it. Just kidding. I could be lying. I don't think that's the truth. I don't know what it is now. Just kidding. I was all like, yeah, that's what it is. But actually, now I don't even know if that's what it is. I think it'll open up. I think this is just me, so it might open up another camera if I clicked on it. Crap. Well, I don't know. Dang it. Well, um, yeah. I don't know how to tell you guys how to work the comment, not the comment, the Q&A thing. Uh, but yeah, there is a Q&A thing somewhere. It's like a blue, mine looks like a blue box, so I don't know how that works, but. Oh yeah, I do need that. Thanks. I'm broadcasting right now. That's how they Okay, so somebody just commented and did it. It's the squares on the top. So if you do want to participate in conversation, and I have no clue what it looks like. I don't know if it's displaying J. Luisa's question right now. This is currently answering. So, yeah, it's apparently the little squares on the top. Like, that's the best way for me to do it because I can't go back and forth and look at comments on the actual video because it's really hard for me to do that. And I have to, like, have multiple windows open. That's not fun. 
So anyway, um, yeah, so I guess without further ado, I'm going to start boxing some of them. I'm going to, like I said, box the little ones, and I'm going to put all of them inside of my doll bag. This is my doll my bag that my hubby got me. He got it for me. For oh my god, I was looking for these earrings! <gasps> Oh god, guys, you don't realize how happy I am because I found these earrings. It's stupid. I didn't know where these were. My friend, she's in my Lolita group, in the Lolita group thingy that we have. And yeah, I love these earrings. They're so cool looking. I like how they hang on the ear. They look really awesome too. I'm like really excited I found them. Dang, I'm gonna put this up to the side. Okay. Okay, well, that's one fun thing. Yay! So now I can select your comments. I don't know, guys, if it does, does it, like, show whose comment I'm answering or thingy that I'm answering? I don't know if that does it or not. Yo, bro! You're here for emotional support. Uh, then click on the blue Q&A. Okay, so maybe there's boxes on the top, and there's one that's, like, a blue Q&A thingy. So hopefully that will help you all out if you guys are curious and you guys want to do that so bye bye resin bloods i know <laughs> i gonna start crying over you i was like it's stupid that i'd be crying over it, but yeah i think it's just because they've been so much a part of my life like i've done a lot of stuff with them and so to put them away for that long amount of time i know it kind of seems sort of silly like kind of dumb but like i'm just kind of like really honestly sad i'm like really sad to put them away it feels like I'm leaving the hobby, but I'm not leaving the hobby, but it just feels like it because I'm, like, boxing them. And they're going to go away for so long. So, yeah, that's why I told my husband. I was like, I have to have at least a few of my dolls with me because I will be really sad if I don't. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Is this the day where I find all the stuff that I had been missing for years Okay, seriously, I'm just, like, looking through this bag because I wanted to make sure I didn't pack anything away that didn't need to be packed away. This stupid thing was tucked in the corner of this stupid bag right here, like, inside. I can't even show you. I don't even know if you can see it. Look, it's right here. It was tucked in here, and I couldn't see it. This drill has been missing for years. This is the same drill I reordered because I was like, I guess I needed another drill because I don't know what happened to my Dalmar drill. I'm finding everything as I am packing my room. It's ridiculous. <gasps> Hi, sister. Oh, yay. That's good to know that it does. So that way you guys can see whose question I'm answering at the time. So yeah, I'm so glad you're here, sister. Sister Moon, I'm backing up my doll. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Think of it as a hiatus. Maybe that'll help. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't help to think of it as a hiatus. It makes me feel really sad. When I think of hiatus, I think of when Steven Universe goes on hiatus or like when uh, Gravity Falls went on hiatus and you're just like, no, come back. Like, makes me really sad because I want them to be not put away Ugh. yeah so sad they're back get hunter my link thing so we can both be here to support you oh yes oh <laughs> i've had mine in storage for years i feel dead inside oh my god for years that's so sad why Movie? Yeah, I don't. That's so sad. Yes, it shows which comment you're answering. Yay! Cool. Awesome. I can hear them crying. I feel so bad. Oh my god. No. Oh, it's gonna be like so sad. It highlights which answer you're looking on. Okay, cool. Awesome. Dolly vacation. That's okay. Yes, I will take that. Dolly vacation sounds like an a okay thing. They're going on a vacation somewhere without me. <sighs> like, so depressed. I'm going to have to do... I hope people don't get tired of seeing Caillou and Dre, because that's probably all that I... I mean, not probably. That's all I'm going to have in videos, like upcoming videos, just me really sad with Caillou and Dre. 
sitting there like crying with them, like wiping my tears with their wigs. <laughs> so sad. Okay. So, are these my things? Oh, yeah, they are. Look at that. Okay, so these are now somewhat officially empty because I can stuff some bodies in there. That Oh, did I tell you guys I'm really sad? That would be the most awesomest thing for me to find. If I could find my crown, I would I would pee myself. I'd be so happy. Yeah, I went to a convention. It was, it was Dolly Con, actually. And when I came back, I didn't have my crown that I had a friend that I commissioned a friend to make for me. And I don't have it anymore. I have no clue where it is. I'm going to get to look through my stuff thoroughly right now, but yeah, they're not, it's not here. I don't know where the crown went, and I'm really sad because I really love that crown. It really made her, it made her character like her, and now that she doesn't have it anymore, she looks just kind of like back to like square one when I was kind of like trying to figure out a character for her, so I'm so sad. They're going to a hotel, a motel for a bit. Can't wait for room service. You're thinking of a hotel. Ah! <laughs> Steven Universe. I get you. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. They're probably going to a Dolly Motel without me. <laughs> well, at least people looking at the house won't think crazy doll lady raffle. I had a cable guy come into my room to set up my TV, and he didn't look on the other side of the room for a reason. The people won't get Dolly Love. Yeah, and that's exactly why I'm packing them up. Honestly, I technically don't have to have them packed up, per se, for, like, you know, uh, until, like, we leave the house, leave the house. But we're going to be showcasing the house. And so, yeah, that's exactly what I was I was going to avoid. It was I didn't want people to come into this room and be like, oh, no, no. or for them – the other dark side is for them to touch them or try to handle them, and I'm not here. That makes me really nervous. So, yeah. Full show. Ringo sent me a picture. <laughs> oh man, I love your Ling Fang. I secretly still want that sculpt, like for reals. I secretly want that sculpt, like really bad, kind of still. Just kidding. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm trying to clear up the room so they're not like they don't walk in here and be like, "What's going on?" I had to move three times and then I had a baby. Oh, mm. yeah, I get you. Sent you a text with the picture. Yeah, I looked at it right now. Oh, <laughs> they can keep Lear, Hatsuko, and Ryoma company. They're gonna be boxed up while I'm gone too. Oh, you're going to have them, they're going to leave them at the house. Oh, then yeah, they'll all chill together then. I'm probably honestly going to have them in your room, just to let you know, sister, because, yeah. I told hubby about possibly putting them on, like, the dresser, and he was like, I don't want the dolls in the room. <laughs> and I was like, no, I want dollies. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably going to put them in your room. Hopefully your cat doesn't go after them. Who she does, I'm gonna beat her in the face. I'm just kidding, no. I won't beat her in the face. I'll lovingly give her kisses and hugs and stuff, you know. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna put the babies in this bag. I'm not ready, guys. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh, oh, oh. Come and visit me. You can play with Hunter. Feel free to show you the pic if you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Ling Fang. He's so cute. I I was originally going to get a Ling Fang and um, ended up getting the Ling Yu instead. So, yeah. Like, like stuff. You know what? I kind of wish. But I could actually wrap them in something. at least these guys that have face sets. Maybe like the tissue or paper towel around their face. Because like she has a nice face up and I don't want to mess hers up. Crap. I'm going to put a paper towel real quick because yeah, I don't want her face up.
And the bass keeps running, running. You know what? I, I was tempted to play, but then I was scared that YouTube was going to take off my video or, like, not let me post it or take off the audio. Was it, you know that, you know that song that they always play that's really sad and, like, they show you, like, a sad person in the background? That, I don't know how it goes. I'm probably going to mess it up with that. I can't remember the words. Something about, like, I will remember you. That that really sad song. I don't know what it is. But I wanted to have that playing in the background as I backed up my dolls up a But, you know, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to be just sticking them in there and kind of rolling up the ones that have face hooks at least. I'm going to be doing that too. Because like I said, I'm not too worried about them. Like, oh no. Because like, they're ABS, so I mean, really honest, nameless. Unless when we put them away in storage, they are like, you know, we throw them back in there. I don't think anything's going to happen to them. So, mainly yeah, their faces when I'm going to be putting them up in here. So, yeah, all these little guys for sure are going into storage. And like I said, I, I was trying to decide, like, who I wanted to keep out in the day. And pretty much thinking and pretty much going to stay to is probably going to be... Tie you in for it. So, guys, <laughs> my wall! He's so ugly but cute. And I'm so sad that I have to put him away. Oh, Wawa. I will miss you, Wawa. Oh my god, I'm like, seriously, like, my eyes are starting to get all like stupid. Like, <laughs> yeah. Love the fall and doll. Forest. Junky Spot doesn't have them anymore. So sad. Yeah, I know. I'm putting him away. I'm gonna. I want to do his face up again. My sister did his face up. I'm gonna play with it too. I was originally gonna get Ling Yu, and then I got a Ling Fang. <laughs> Cause Grubby the boy had a great deal and offered it way away. Cosplay boy. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's so funny. We got like the opposites. It's hilarious. I have to move my. Dolls from downstairs to upstairs, but my fiance is scared of them. Well, but I keep getting more. Yeah, I know. I think Hubby's not really scared of them. He just would rather them not be in the room with us. So, yeah. You know. I'm guessing you got a climate controlled storage. I'm living in Florida. I'd be freaked out because of the hot and humid it is. It's always, always is. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're trying to shoot for because we have other valuable things that we don't want to get damaged because of the heat. So, use towels. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to wrap them up in here and put them in there like that. Because, like I said, these are my ABS and, like, other little vinyl dolls. So, I don't think anything really bad's going to happen. So, if you had that song playing, you'd probably cry and then we'd all cry. I know, yeah, that's what I'm scared of. I'm not going to play that song because I'd probably be like... <laughs> <laughs> wrapping them up and stuff. But... Oh, yeah, Sakura. Yeah, yeah, Sakura. Okay. More. Putting my more. Okay. So like these little cat guys, these guys don't actually need anything. I'm just gonna stick it, stick it in here. Oh man, I feel so sorry for Jake. I stole his wig and I gave it to my girl. Who still doesn't have a name, actually. I thought I gave her a name though, but I guess I didn't give her a name. It's weird, I thought I could give her a name. Well, she needs a name. The androgynous girl that I put the face up on. The soul ball. Ugh. Oh, God, guys. This is so really fun. This. <laughs> My little Tomoe Hujo that I wanted to make look like Tomoe. So I did, like, this really silvery. And I got, like, these silver eyes for him and everything. But then I never got around to getting him a come <laughs> Uh, sometimes. Okay, and then this one. Oh no, beads! And this one, this little cat girl. It, it's kind of funny because I wanted to get my cat's clothes and so I got like a whole bunch of Barbie clothes and things like that and I just put them on them. Put them on them clothes and them. It's better than being naked. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I think the really hard part is when I'm gonna get to the 
MSD these little guys they're cute i love them but i have like this really strong emotional attachment to them amber who i was also missing there yeah it's like she can't be missing hair she has her there she is one of my other very first early dolls Maggie joe berry oh my dang i didn't make a week cap for you here this obviously does not fit her. Yeah, she was like one of my first dolls that I got, and I actually got the courage to like pierce her ears. So I pierced her, I pierced her ears. The poor thing, yeah, she needs to be fixed. When I moved to my new house, I'll fix her up and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm just laying them kind of like. I really love this wig. Like, I want to get more of these wigs. This was a um, fighting wig. And at first I was like, what am I going to do with a purple um, wings? And I was like, oh, I'll make him into like a um, spike. So this is supposed to be spike from My Little Ponies. I even drew like little scales on his face. So yeah, that's him. That's my spike. So I'm gonna wrap his head in there too. Oh my god! And then this other one, it was really funny. I got a blue. I don't think she's a berry. She's like a different one, a yomi or something, I think. Actually, I don't know which one she is. But I never got a rainbow colored wig, and this was supposed to be rainbow dash. Because <laughs> I thought. Yeah, why not have a rainbow dash? And instead, she just looks like a blue little alien. <laughs> she looks like a little blue alien. Yeah, she's just showing it. Oh man, I forgot I had another mouse up here. Okay, so this is another cat. And she's gonna try on. I don't know the wave just trying to do it. Okay. There's another cat girl. Actually, what am I, I? I really like her a lot. I tried to do like a fantasy type thing on her eye here. They did like really long, really long lash on that side. I don't know. It's trying to be cool, guys. It's trying to be cool. So I want to be cool. And let's put her in there. This little mouse. What do I have here? She's cute, it's a little gray mouse. It's really cute. And then this is the one I feel really bad for because I don't even have a wig for her, but it was funny though because at first originally she was supposed to be a tiny grill. And then I switched the face up and then this is like a really temporary wig that I have for her that she's wearing. So it's like a weird size little big headed doll. So yeah, she's just she's special. Oh no. Okay, so, so this is my build it your own pull up. I actually really like the outfit she's wearing. She had a wig and then I think I took it off. Maybe this wig will fit her. Oh no, that's not gonna fit. <laughs> that wig's not gonna fit you. Anyway, it was a build your own pull up kit and I was really excited because I Thought it was really cool. I felt like so awesome because I built like I built her. It was so awesome. And I made like the eye chips and everything. It was really fun to do. So this is my little build it your own pull up. I don't remember if I gave her a name or not, but yeah, and I pierced her ears too. I don't know what it is. Like I'm so like over the moon about like piercing the doll's ears. Actually for this one though, I think I am gonna put Thing on her face because she's got eyelashes and the eyelashes are gonna get all donked up. If I don't put hey. who could say no to Beebs? Beebs who had a wig and then I ended up giving it to Anfi no I'm not on this to uh, Ahiru. And then my sister made him a little adventure time hat and diaper, which he has underneath his little outfit here, his little cat outfit thing 
And yeah, I never changed him out of the thing, the Adventure Time hat, because he has no hair. So <laughs> I was like, you are forever going to be wearing this little teddy hat thing. So enjoy it for the rest of your life until I finally get another wig. But yeah, Beebs. I am going to wrap up Beebs because Beebs is super special to me. I love Beebs. Beebs is forever. And the reason why we call him Beebs, if you don't know the story, is that his wig that he wore was a really short bob haircut and it very much looked like early days of Justin Bieber. And so my doll group actually started calling him Biebs, like Justin Bieber. It's how, hence the name was born. So, oh yeah, fun times. Would you have to update your P.O. box when you move? Nope. I am literally moving across the street from the subdivision I live in right now, which is really funny. So I'm not even that far away. My post, my P.O. box is going to stay the same. I'm not going to change it. So that's awesome. <laughs> Mainly since I just paid for it. I reimbursed, like not reimbursed it, but reactivated it. So, yeah. It took you forever to name the Hoodra Girl. Now another one. Yeah, I know. I've got, actually, a lot of my dolls don't have names. Some of them don't. So I just need to, like, sit down and name them and take pictures of them and then, like, put their name next to it so I can remember who, who is who. That'd be great. Building a, su a second house, will it be super different? Um, yeah. This The new house that we're building is a lot bigger, which is really nice. And um, it's it's uh, got a really, really nice kitchen. <laughs> and it has a really, really nice like living room and dining room area where there's like, a lot of sun because there's like, a lot of windows in that area. Um, I probably would do some videos there. We're going to try to limit ourselves to one hobby room. So hubby and I basically kind of like when we first moved into this house, how we had a joint, a joint hobby room. We're going to try to have another joint hobby room, um, again. And so I'll probably be shooting my videos there. If not, I'll probably shoot them in the living room and dining room area. Cause now I actually will have a dining room space because <laughs> My dining room is also my kitchen right now, so, yeah. It'll be really nice. I'll do a, a house tour and stuff once it's built and stuff. That'll be really nice. I'm excited. So. Starting to make those kinds of wigs, the ones you had for Spike. Oh, really? How about rainbow wigs? Rainbow wigs, I imagine, would be really hard to make, but, yeah, that's cool. I wish I could make wigs. That'd be amazing. I'm moving too. I feel your pain. Ugh. Yeah, I know. It's exciting. It's both really exciting and really fun and then also very stressful. Like, I've been so stressed about all this stuff. Like, I haven't gone out, like, this whole week. Like, I've stayed trapped in my house cleaning. So, yeah, it's been crazy. <sighs> Yay! Was that a Freya you just put in the bag? I have a glow-in-the-dark one. Cool! Yeah, that was a Freya. I have, I have two Freyas in there and a Freya in there. Yeah, they're cool. I like the cats. They're awesome. <laughs> snip, snip. I remember when you just had Kai and Umi. I know! I thought about it, too. I was like, what if I just also take Umi? And I'm like, oh, but then I'll have, like, four dolls. And then Umi's really small, and I'm really scared of anything happening to her because she's, like... Actually, a couple of my dolls are, like, they don't make them anymore. But, yeah... She's uh she's really special to me, so I'm, I'm really scared, and I don't know if I want to pack her or take her, so. I don't know. Once I get to that, I'll probably be, like, crying, and I'll be like, I'll take you with me. I'll take you with me. Okay, so this is the land of Obitus. Now I'm getting to the land of Obitus. And the land of Obitus has a bunch of different dudes in it. What is with your arms, dude? I don't know what's with Aang's arms. This is Aang, and I've lovingly called him Aang because I never got him a wig, but he very much does look like a kind of avatar-looking character. I have contemplated putting a blue arrow on his head. Never got around to doing it, but I considered it. This one is my mini. Ooh, I trying to put this wig back on all the way, and it ended up coming off. This is my miniature UA, and it's funny, we call her, I call her miniature, or people started calling her miniature UA, 
because she looks like you, eh? She's got pink hair and, um, except for the eyes. She doesn't have the same colored eyes, but, uh, yeah, this is miniature Yui. Yue, not Yui. Oh, God, Tommy. Uh, the tiny Obitsus. Super cute, I love them. And then I have a whole bunch of obitsus that, you know, I really honestly, and I know I, I've said this in other videos too, like I really just want to just work on them. Like, they're really, they're just blank faces that I would like to try to just do a face up on or something. It's just really hard to do the layered face ups on them because I don't have the patience for it. But here's another little miniature obitsu. They're really cute. I like them a lot. They are very, they, they remind me of like the little Fugo juice dolls, like they're really cute and small. This is my elf girl, and I got really upset because I had taken out her eye to measure it and to do some other stuff. <sighs> because somebody had asked, and that's what I normally, that's why I, I have the dolls that I have, is that I have them and I keep them. I'll do the review from them, I keep them, and then if anybody has a question, like, I'll try my best to get back to them. And Well, that's what happened, and I never put the eye back in because it is a pain in the butt to put tiny eyes back into vinyl heads. So yeah, I need to do that though, because I really do love her. She's really cute, I love this Obitsu. And I think my favorite thing about Obitsu's, dude, your pants are coming down. My favorite thing about Obitsu's are the fact they have different hands, and I love the different hands that they come with. Like, they're super cute and ultra posable. Like, I, I love Obitsu's, they're really awesome. Just an all around awesome doll to have if you have never owned dolls before. And here's this really cool shady looking guy. <laughs> Looks like a, you know, you know what he reminds me of now? He reminds me of uh, my husband started playing uh, Grand Theft Auto. He reminds me of like, he'd be like a Grand Theft Auto character. Like that you go and pay and then he'll go and, I don't know, you have to come and kill this guy or something. I don't know. He's my cool, cool guy that I have. On to the world of pull-ups. So this is my Goony Bear pull-up, and she's super cute. I have actually taken off her outfit before, and uh, she's wearing like a blue suit underneath. But it's super cute. I love her. She's so awesome. And I like her little head bonnet thing, which is really cute. Honestly, I think. For these two, I might have their original boxes. And if I do, I'm going to pull them down and put them back inside. Because I'm going to try to put dolls that have boxes back into the boxes. And yes, I do. So I'm gonna put these dolls back into their boxes. Let's see. Who else? I see who else needs to go in this bag. Honestly, I'm probably gonna leave this bag open because I can guarantee you there's probably some dolls in. Oh, I'm gonna check in here. I don't know who you. What? Because now I'm dwindling down to the dolls that live in boxes. Okay, so this was the box for it. I'm, I'm such a freaking hoarder like and i'm kind of glad that i am now though because i have saved all my doll boxes do you see them up there yeah all the dolls that came in boxes i, I saved their boxes but if they didn't have a box i didn't you know i don't have anything for them so uh so yeah so i'm gonna put her back in her original box and that will be her safety way of safety of traveling i love the box for the um Madoka series. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is gonna go Oh crap. No nah. it started pulling the plastic off the top. Not that into that not a bad idea. Why is it keeping coming with the plastic? Like the adhesive that was on the um, outside of the box is sticking to the uh, 
Oh man, I had to bend it down. Whoop, whoop, that's already happened. That's, that's already happened. That sucks. See how this little plastic came off? Okay. So I'm going to take her off her stands. I think it's the funny thing about pull ups, unless you really customize them, I feel like they're just really display dolls. It's like, I mean, you, you can play with them, but I feel like they're really meant to be collector's pieces. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to put that in box. Dang, everything is coming out of this box. Okay, so now she's safely back in her box. So. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this. So sad. Oh my god, Grand Theft Auto doll you were talking about reminding me of Ritsu from Fruits Basket. Oh yeah, it kind of does look like a Ritsu. Yeah, that's funny. That's great. I started to make yarn wigs, which seems timely but to make, but fun. I heard they look really good. Like, if you unravel the yarn and stuff, and um, they kind of look like fur wigs. That's really awesome. That's pretty cool. Just saying. I'm on a mission to make the rainbow wig. Either that or get white wig and dye it rainbow colors. Ta-da! Moving present. That's cool! Yeah, why did I think of it? Yeah, you could just get a white wig and just dye it different colors. Duh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've been making fur wigs for a while. I don't usually offer to make them unless I have a doll in the same size, but I have a hooter now, so probably could do it for you. Dying! All these people in the fur wigs! You guys, seriously, that make the fur wigs, you need to make tiny fur wigs. That would be, like, the most coolest thing ever. Like, for, uh, I can't think. For our beats and dolls, like, the really tiny ones, because it's hard to get wigs for them, like, there's not, I mean, there's a selection, but, like, it's not really a selection of wigs. But yeah, I would love to have fur wigs for the tiny ones. I imagine it would be a pain in the butt to make, though. But, yeah, that would be really cool to have, because a lot of mine are bubbled, so, yeah. What is your P.O. box? My P.O. box, I wonder if I can put it. How can I do this? Camera man? No, it's not camera man. What was it? This? Toolbox? Yes, it's an overlay. Yes. You ready? Because I'm going to flash it for a little bit and then take it off. Because I used to advertise the P.O. box, and then after I got a condom in the mail and then like something else really weird, I stopped advertising the P.O. box because <laughs> I thought it was weird that I got that stuff. So, yep. Here's my P.O. box. Hello. Um. Oh, dang. It didn't even show all of it. It's like, let's show you a little bit of snippet of it. I'm in here. Maybe no. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Let's see if it works. Ah! Yep, that's what it is. So if you're wondering why P.O. Box is, it is P.O. Box 406, Lotus, Texas 78023. That is my P.O. Box. If you wanna send me something while I'm sitting here crying and really sad because my dolls are in storage. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I actually have to leave some of my face-up material out because I want to take commissions because, yeah, I'm trying to sell stuff too just because moving to a new house costs money. So, I mean, I'm, I am trying to try to make some money on the side too. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to bump up my commissions and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 
But yeah, that is my PO box in case you guys were wondering. That is me. And you can actually label it to just assemble. You don't have to write assemble BBD. You can just write assemble. And yeah, that is, that is me. That's me. So yeah. Okay, back to, back to packing. Okay, so one of my favorites ever, aside from my wedding pull-ups, which are super freaking cute, which I hope in my new house, I would like to have like shelves. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I want shelves like the ones that you can just mount onto the wall. And uh, I want to have them displayed because they're so cute. The wedding pull-ups, they're so cute. But this is my other favorite pull-up that I have here, and it's the um, Mommy, is her name? I saw the series once, and that was it. I think it's just Mommy, is her name. I probably yeah, she was really cool. I like her, and her pull-up they came out with is amazing. That's why I really secretly want, like, the Sailor Moon ones, because if they're this detailed for this, like, I can only imagine how Sailor Moon ones are. And it still has the little levers in the back, too, so you can make her, like, wink and look really cute and stuff, so, like, how cute is that? So cute! So much cute! So, yeah, I'm gonna put her back in her box, and I love her a lot, too, so let me unwink her. There you go. And yeah, I'm gonna put this. Hopefully, the glue on this one is not all crazy. Okay. See, I feel like doing what it was doing to do the one now. Oh, 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 yeah, that is, it is. Okay, so she had a ton of accessories. I'm gonna make sure that all of them articulated with her also. I'm gonna put it in here like this. I'm gonna put her little arms down. I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna put her inside of her box. Yeah. And away she will go inside of the box. There we go. And now she is back in the original box. Oh god, this hurts so bad. <laughs> oh no, I've already reached the MSDs and the OSDs. Oh dear god. Oh, I probably should just grab all the boxes over there and bring them down. God. Oh no! I made one for my Nano Freya. I started to make my wig because I don't see wigs for Anthros whose ears are not magnetic. Yeah, that too. Like, I would love to see more people do wigs, like, for ones that don't have, like, the magnetic ears. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I considered, like, snipping, like, slits into one of the wigs, and I was like, no, nah, I probably shouldn't because it'll probably mess up the wig. But I was really tempted to do that, so... I also have a Hooja baby that I made wigs for. See? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Need more tiny fur wigs. That is what we need to do. Tiny fur wigs. I learned to make them and just getting into them. So that's a good idea. Yeah, I imagine like you can just get like a Barbie and then kind of measure it off of that. But yeah, like I don't see a lot of them. I know there's one company for sure. Oh my god, I'm yawning with all the craziness. Um, there's one company that I can name off the top of my head called Shaggy's. It's Denver Dolls for wig people. And yeah, they make small, tiny ones. But yeah, I would definitely like to see more. Would love to see more. Oh no, my fiance is mad because he isn't into dolls and he wants to get the Gloomy Bear pull up. Ah! Oh! It's so cool! Yeah! Gloomy Bear! And she's so cute! I just love the doll. The doll is really cute. The doll dolls are like insanely cute. They're awesome. So, yeah. I sent a text with my wigs that I made. Yes, I will check that later. Oh, show. The redhead Obitsu boy reminds me of Kami from Malice Miser. <laughs> yeah. They're funny. Oh my god, you scared me. I love the garage sale. What? Dang, where did this come from? 
from this stuff. Oh, dang. That was fast. I posted it. Boom, 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 boom. Second person. We're selling stuff yeah, on yeah. our garage sale thing in our community. Dude, I'm going to use this even more over there. Yeah, that's good. I want, I want, you know, I want to a show? Yeah. Like two shows. Yeah. I got it. Mm -hmm. I, I did it for the same time. Dang. Hey. So like two hours later. So we're going to like party hardy now? You have a big time. <laughs> we're trying to like it's so funny like we're literally selling like different little knickknacks and things like that in our house and my husband just sold some stuff we've been selling a lot of stuff on this little like uh facebook page that are are we, we live in a really good community and they're really good neighbors and all that kind of stuff so they have like a facebook page and we've been putting things for sale there and they've been selling our stuff has been selling like we've been sold like an old rock band set like PlayStation 2 rock band and somebody bought it. So it's been awesome using that uh, system. I'm gonna grab the things that are giving me. And what I do with the rock band set, uh, she sent me, I was like, how's it going? And she sent me a picture of her family playing it already and she's like, we're enjoying it. Oh, good. Yeah, it was her and her like, little girl and stuff. And her, That's good. Her dad who came back from uh, Afghanistan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is where the barrage of, oh dang, this is not why you can't see me reaching for these crazy boxes. Okay, this is where the barrage of doll boxes are going to start coming out of my closet. Point you guys in that general direction. Yeah, do you guys see all this stuff? Oh my god, my cat is in here. I did not know my cat was in this closet. What the heck, that scared the crap out of me. All I do is I look down and she's just dead in the corner. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not really dead though. Are you just kind of chilling in here? Yeah. She's just chilling in here. She's like so chilling in this, in this closet. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. This is where I died by death of doll boxes. And everyone in YouTube will know that I died this way. Death by doll box. That one. Oh my god. Oh, you're not heavy. Woohoo! Woo Balancing act. Balancing act. Okay. Oh, I forgot. My 50 centimeter Obitsu had a box. Well, that's cool. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So this is my 50 centimeter of beauty. God, oh my God, no! <laughs> I don't want to pack Sophie. Oh, Sophie, I just got to start. Oh, God. Okay. Well, this is the box that Sophie came in. God, it's like so many memories, like opening these boxes. Like, it's like they were... It's like a reverse doll box opening. Like you're so excited, like to open dolls. Like when they come in, and this is the opposite. Like you're putting them away, and it's just like so, so sad. Like seriously, so sad. Oh, now he needs a Sailor Mercury pull up. I'm glad I came into this chat. Did they ever come out with a Sailor Jupiter one? Like I haven't really formally searched it, but. Oh my god, that'd be so cool to get a Sailor Jupiter one. She's my favorite scout. Rest in peace is something she died doing when she laughed off. <laughs> oh my god, how bad would that be if you guys just saw my, like, I just fall backwards and then nothing happens. Like, you don't hear from me. And all you hear is my cat meowing in the background. <laughs> oh, it's kind of sad and morbid. Do you want to go, Luna? Do you want to escape? You had your fun in the closet. You can go. Mm -hmm. Say bye, Luna. I love you. Okay. Back to sad times. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I will remember you. Oh, God. This is so sad. Okay. So, um, 
to look for her. Yay! Oh my god. This is so hard to do. Mm. Oh my god, this is so sad. This is like really depressing, really sad. Oh God, I need to see what you're selling and such. I want to help out with you in moving and buy by buying. I, I don't know if I'm really, I haven't, I haven't jumped into it yet, but I am planning to sell some more anime stuff. Uh, it's kind of awkward selling some of the other stuff like the Shoujo Beat magazines. Like I'm probably going to end up just taking those to um, half price and just get like 50 cents or something from them. Just because I just need them out of the house. And then the Blackbird manga, I don't know if anyone's going to buy that. But I'm entering, like, I'm putting myself into two other groups. But I am going to be selling some other stuff. Like, it kind of it kind of makes me sad to sell this stuff. But honestly, I haven't, I haven't had it. Like, I haven't done anything with it. Like, so I just feel kind of bad because I know somebody else would probably enjoy it. I used, I'm, like, a big Final Fantasy person i love final fantasy and this one's a final fantasy 9 is like game scroll i'm probably gonna sell this one and i have like a whole bunch of other posters and wall scrolls and things like that so i'm gonna probably list those up on the um on uh on my facebook page and then i'm gonna be selling them in a um in a group for the sales page thing so i have a whole bunch of anime posters that i just never did anything with so I'm probably gonna be putting a whole bunch of that stuff on sale then see if anybody wants it but yeah I have a, I, I haven't even gone through that side of the stuff yet so, so that's yeah that's to come oh god oh. <laughs> this is my video like I uh what was it for I did it for I was making fun of the fact that I got like a like a rip off doll, and like this was supposed to be my um my card of authenticity, and it says like totally legit <laughs> dollies. Yeah, this was supposed to be it. Oh hey, Ringo! I have a. Uh... Is this what it was from? I mean, it's in here. It looks like it's from your question asking about, do you think recasts, recasts are okay? If you accidentally bought a recast, what would you do? If your friend bought one, would you still be friends? And look, I wrote it on gloomy bear paper. Look at that. Hey. 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 Oh. <laughs> this tells you like, how much I just brush after I finish doing my videos. I just throw everything off to the side. I still have the doll in here. <laughs> The one that I was like, this is not my doll leaves doll. Oh my god, it's so crazy that it's in there. I don't know who this one is though. It's gotta be one of my MSDs though. Uh, either Rain or Rilla. I'll probably put Rilla in there. So, just stick Rilla in there. Oh, Rilla. My girl with resting bee face. Doesn't she look like she has resting, like, bee face? I don't want to say the bad word, but resting bee face. That's what she has. So it's been heavy breathing over your Tokyo Mew Mew manga. Actually, I honestly considered selling that, too. The Tokyo Mew Mew manga. I, I boxed it anyway, I think. I don't know. Well, because I was thinking about giving it to my, my cousin. She's starting. We're starting her young in manga and anime, and so I thought, you know, it would be a really good one for her to, to read. Okay, Rilla. Rilla. There we go. Let's see. It's gonna get nice and Yeah, I love the twins. The twins are so cool. Her and her brother. 
Mm. Wait, I stole Lee's box. Uh, that means rain. And I love rain. Rain always has like a special like place in my heart because rain is like he's so snooty. Like he looks so snooty too. The two of them just look so snooty. That's why I thought they would be perfect as twins because they just look like they both have problems with the world. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh yeah, I think I got this right because I think he came in a blue bag and she came with a pink bag. Oh dang, this ribbon though. Uh, so this ribbon is being weird. Oh, it's coming, it's unraveling, that's what it is. Even with unraveling. Dang. Come on, dollies. I want your ribbons unraveled. Okay, now click on <laughs> Oh my god, that's such a good idea. You should leave a random note in one of the boxes so you forget about it until you open them all up. <gasps> that's amazing! Oh my god, that's great! I should. I'd alert Rockin' first thing in the event of your dolly death. Thank you. I like how it's not my husband, how it's doll. It's, it's Rockin' first and then I guess <laughs> Might as well find out later. Fiance says the best way he is happy that oh that you are happy that he my brain cannot read is that you are starting her young in manga and anime. Yeah, we really literally did. We started her with Pokemon and she's obsessed with Pokemon. She's like twelve, ten, twelve. Yeah, and uh we're starting to like get her more and more into anime and she just finished watching some of the Sailor Moon Crystal episodes. So yeah, we're starting here young. So as will my kids, my children will be cosplaying out of the womb. <laughs> it's funny. There is a Sailor Jupiter pull up. Oh, she eyes. Uh, that's not good for me to know. That is terrible for me to know. <laughs> that is not a good thing for me to know. Mainly since I told my husband that I was like, you know, I normally, you know, I don't want to ask for any more dolls, but I really like the aging doll, aging doll, can I have one? The smart doll boy. Yeah. That's supposedly going to be my presence. But not until all of our finances have settled, have settled through, so I'm going to hope that our finances, finances settle pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. He's supposed to come out like in August or September. I think September. So about that. <laughs> okay. There you go. The twins are packed. All right. Who's next? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. One of these has eyes in it. I don't think it's this one. Yeah, it's not this one. Uh, but this will be good though because my Kujo Amy didn't have a box, so now I can box her in here. So I'll box Kujo Amy. In here. Yeah, she looks so awesome now. Like I'm really proud of her because I really didn't know what to do with her. I was like, what do I do with this? But yeah, I'm really proud of her. She looks really and stuff and like awesome wolf spirit person so I'm gonna take off her ears. Oh no, my ears are so strong. I'm gonna take off her ears. I'm gonna put her hands down. Yeah but she looks really cool with her kimono. Like I'm so glad I invested in a kimono for her and I got her one. Because yeah she looks pretty awesome. I wouldn't even mind changing out her head, like for a normal human head, and like making it like an Inuyasha, like cool, like dog, human thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh god, she's so tall. Like she's like not even all the way in the pillow. 
Okay, there's this ribbon in here, and three ribbons. So. I'm gonna do this a little bit better. Okay. One, two. Hold on. Ooh. He's not. Oh god. Maybe I won't be able to put the ribbons on. Just kidding. I'm just gonna put it in. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. I'm really skinny kind of ribbons. I'm just gonna because sometimes when I like a doll box is I'm like, is this really gonna close? I love this doll family box though. Look at that doll family box. Come on, doll family. I love your boxes. Okay. Uh, oh man, dollars. This would be. Oh no! It's an ash. Mm. Oh no! I don't want to put ash away. See, this is the thing of authenticity. Freaking love Ash. Like, I've had him standing up on display. Oh, crap. I forgot to put the ears away. I'll put them in the accessories. Sorry that I have them. Oh, my God. He has been standing here just so dapper looking and just being like this super hot guy. I'm like, <laughs> oh, Ash, what am I going to do without your beautiful, handsome face? Oh, and like he just feels so complete now because I got him like his shoes and his little vest and his wig and everything. I mean, look at him. He's so darn cute. Like, oh! <laughs> ah, I'm going to put his face protector on. He's going to get a face protector for sure. This is not easy, guys. This is really, really hard. What did I do with um, Hujo Amy's original ears? <laughs> They're annoyed. I'm just kidding. No. I have them somewhere in my accessory thing, or it could be in that one, too. It's in either one of those things. I really didn't care for them much. So, yeah, I just kind of put them off to the side. So, yeah. Hold Ash for a little bit longer. <clears throat> My best friend is doing a Moogle costume for her little baby girl. Forgot what she wanted to do to match her daughter. I know! It's so cute! There's so many... It's, like, so stereotypical, but, like, one of my kids... You know, if I have a girl, it'll be, like, Ponyo. Because that'd be, like, freaking cute. That'd be awesome. So, Hunter has the same box. Slash purple pillow. And I feel awful because I was messing around, and now the pillow has a huge blood stain on it. What? Uh, fake blood, hopefully. Is it fake blood? So, yes, yeah, this is my first time watching your videos, and I'm happy you're doing a live chat, and I have subscribed. Yay! Thanks so much! I'm really excited that you are here and that you're having fun. Yeah, this is basically what I do from a broadcast. I kind of just sit here and just ramble on for, like, two hours. So, yeah. Ugh! <laughs> I don't want to put it. Okay. <laughs> He's my baby. He's so cute. I've worked so hard on him. Okay. All right, Ash. Here we go. And Dolly's Anthony Dapper looking boy, who I love with all my heart. He's like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? So sad, guys. Like, seriously. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in this box. I will remember you. That's what I feel like, guys. That song. Oh, 
Guys, I'm going to have like a huge, I, I have now decided, I am going to have a huge doll box opening party when I move to my new house. It's going to be like, BJD box opening, like mega box opening. And I'm going to like open all my dolls and like film the video. It'll be great, guys. It'll be fantastic. Why do I have so many doll boxes? It feels like I well, don't have I'm not sure what the book says. This is all the stuff inside your, your school desk over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, the desk. You can then buy a lot before you have to yeah. I'm boxing up my dolls. Yeah. Well, this is my dolls on box, guys. I was really excited, and I love dolls on because the boxes are amazing. And I love how it says, I don't know if you can read it, it says, I'm here. And that was like the thing that I loved the most. But actually, back in the day when I wanted, um, Doll Zone, my Doll Zone doll. I really wanted the black box. I thought the black box was really cool. But when I got the white box, and I thought it was just as pretty. That was really cool. This is actually Umi's bag that Umi came in, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to pack Umi. I really don't want to. Uh, don't really want to, but at the same time, I don't want to have her out. I'd rather her be safe in the box and me transferring her back and forth. Yeah, this is really hard to do to me. I would love to have an actual wig that fits in this wig is humongous for him. Yeah, but for those of you who don't know anything about my doll stories, this is Umi and she is supposed to be the younger sister of Kai. I had this whole story planned out and I haven't done the story like I haven't gone back to do the story and I really should but yeah oh there you go Amy. You have a bag. I should have like mixed up the dolls and put them in different boxes and then like when I opened them up it would have been a surprise to be like who was in this box and then I would have been like oh my god it was you so, yeah. this is this is my doll's own box She's not going to get packed up. Uh, but I, I'm probably going to put her in a box because I need to, when I take her to my mom's house, I'm going to have her in there. So this is not goodbye for her, but I am going to put her in a box. So because in that way, um, she's a... Uh, She'll be ready to go when I transfer her out. So this is good. I know she's not gonna go, but I still feel really bad putting her in a box. So like I said, I never had to put them in the boxes before. But our realtor is gonna come around and take pictures of our house while we're gone. We're gonna be going for a little bit out of town so he can come take pictures. Not out of town, out of town. We'll be back. It's so sad, you know, because I never really put my dolls in their boxes. I don't, I like having them on display. Like, I really do. So it's just really sad to put them in their boxes. And she's in her box for now. But I'm going to put her box somewhere else because I don't want her. Get confused with everybody else. Mixed up. So my next box, actually it's really cool. This is the doll cereal box. And um this is for the Calliope. See my notes are still in here. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Calliope. I had to write how to pronounce her name. And then these are my notes that I get from Emery on the doll, so that way I know. Kind of a heads up on some of the stuff. <laughs> oh, my prizes are still in here. Did this come like this? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, I was like, hey, dollars. Just kidding. There's no dollar. There's a little thing in here. What is this? Oh, 
it's like a it's a Disney thing. It's funny that that's still in there. Okay. Calliope is gonna go in here. I don't actually really like Calliope. I kind of really wanted to make her into a Zelda character. I wanted to make her into Zelda because I thought she had a very pretty face and her little ears that she has. So, yeah. Ooh, she is. Oh, I remember now. So, they made her the box too small in the version that I got. The box is too small for her. So she came with her head disassembled. Or not attached, I should say. I'm going to have to just put her in kind of sideways. Sideways crossed, because, yeah. Dang, I forgot about that. I'm all like, why isn't she fitting in here? Why well, was with that? And then, yeah, that's why. Well, she fits if I bend her knees a little bit, so she'll be like that for her time. I think I came up with a name for her, too. Did I come up with a name? Now I can't remember if I came up with a name for her or not. That's what I mean. I need to have, like, a list of my dolls and, like, their names and stuff. Because, yeah, I don't remember if I gave her a name. I did. Oh my god, guys, there's so many doll dolls. Okay, next is this one. This one has Kai's body in it. I can feel the weight. So, um, I actually, was it this year? I traded out Kai's body for a doll family body. Yep. So inside here is Kai's old body. And so yeah, this is his old body. And um, I kept it and I didn't sell it, one, because I was like sentimentally attached to it. I was like, I really want, I really want, you know, to keep his body because what if I get another doll head and then, you know, I could put it on this body. And I, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with the body. I mean, it's a good body. It's very muscular, but um, the only thing I still would really want to try to fix is the the hip joint here area, the hip area, the socket. Um, and I've seen some people fix it, so I've considered keeping it in wanting to do the alterations myself. But yeah, I body blushed it. <laughs> That's kind of weird. So, yeah. Uh, I kept this body. Like I said, it's a good body. And with my uh, Hujo Apollo, I mean, I have, um, I have his. Because, um, I have his body. What am I even saying? I did modifications on that body, which is the same body as this one, but in tan. And I suede his hips, and I put wiring through his arms and I actually still have the wire so I'll probably end up doing that to this guy here. So he's he's gonna stay in this box. But yeah this is the box that he came in. What is this? What? Why do I have these in here? Okay I have like a figurine and then I have a gun blade in there. I don't even know why that's in there. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Why do I have Final Fantasy toys in here? That's so random. Any candy. That's really weird. I don't know why that was in there. But, okay. I'm going to put his body in here now. I'll wrap it up properly this time. It looks like I just kind of threw it in there. That's weird. I don't know why I had that in here. That, uh, those toys in there. It's really weird. I don't, I don't know why I had that. I like this doll family box, so look at this doll family box. It looks really cool. That's a really awesome looking box. Okay. Um, alright. So, 
I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll put her in here. She's got vacancy. Uh, yeah, I don't know why these were in there. <laughs> Some girl, I think this belongs to my husband, because I know this is not mine. And then my gun blade that goes to my squall figurine. And then my dagger that belongs to Zidane, my Zidane figurine that I have. Yeah. I don't know why that's here. That was so random to open and see in there. It's kind of a unexpected to me. Okay, Mystic Kids. This is probably um, Amelia box. <sighs> Dang, Mystic Kids. This pillow, though. Dang, seriously. Dang, that's a nice pillow. Mystic kids being all fancy chancy. Okay, I had a crap ton of faces. There's two. Okay, there. I was like, I know I had more than that. I had way more face masks than that. Okay. Okay. I really like her. She's really cute. And it was really fun because she, uh, for the version that I was sent for the review, she has a beauty mark, and I love beauty marks. They're so awesome. So she has a beauty mark, which is really fun. And I think she's really pretty. Like, Mystic Kids make some really good dolls. So they have amazing dolls. So, yes. You need to, you want to look into dolls to buy. Mystic Kids has some really awesome ones. Okay. I'm gonna wrap you up nicely. Three? Oh, there's only two on this one. Oh, shoot. I should have done it higher. I don't know what to do. I thought there was gonna be three ribbons like that. Yeah, let me do that other ribbon higher. There we go. With her awesome pillow. Jeez, man. I want to sleep with that. It's really nice. Okay. It's funny. The Mystic Kids box looks so cute. Okay. Now I'm in... Ellis. Which is Eli. This is Eli's box. His Mystic Kids box. I remember opening the Mystic Kids and I thought it was so funny that they had underwear. But it was awesome at the same time. So I was like, dang, that's so cool. It comes with underwear. How awesome is that? Because, you know, sometimes when you open up a doll, you don't want to just open it up and be like, bam, there's junk in your face. Like, it's nice having um, them with stuff, so. Yeah, he still has his face up back here, basically. Alright, I didn't change it because I actually really like it. So, go Eli. You know, my boy who I was really confused on what to do with that first two. Yeah, I think if I had to pack up Eli, and Kai and that, that would, I would be really depressed. Like, really depressed. That would be bad. That's why I told myself, well, I'm gonna at least take two or three with me and produce you. I wouldn't be able to function with that person. I really, I would really like them. Not to mention, it would be really boring doing videos without PJDs if I just sat there and I was just doing videos. PJD videos without PJDs. <laughs> be kind of weird. So Mystic Kids box again. Oh my god, so many dolls in boxes is not even fun. Oh, it's actually really sad. <laughs> I followed you on Tumblr and on my Tumblr I have my first doll photo shoot I did for my doll and my and a friend's 
I'm going to start doing photo shoots for dolls. That's so cool. Is it is your name the same name that you are right now? Zekiel, 17 Squirrel. If so, I have to, I want to check it out. That'd be really cool to see dollar photos. Faux oh, show. Faux oh, show. Uh oh. No, true story. One of my dolls has super, super sharp nipples, and it cut me, and I bled a lot and stuff. It happened. That's really weird, but that's strangely believable because, yeah, sometimes, I don't know why they're so, like, pointy, but, yeah, I, I kind of really believe that. That's pretty good. So my collection consists of live doll, Madame Alexander, Freya, I forget what kind of doll the imp is in Monster High, and now adding to the collection is pull-ups. Awesome! Those are really good dolls. Like, I really enjoy... The Freya's and the pull-ups are always really fun. And Monster Highs, I only have one Monster High because, oh, God, I'm too scared to start that. Because, <laughs> yeah, I would probably be extra broke because there's so many cute Monster High dolls. That's so cool. You can split up kind. You can't split up Caillou and Tre because they're made for each other. I know. It's so cute. They're my bubbas. They're the bubbas. Okay, let's see what else I have. Okay, one of these is Kai's box, but I don't think he's going to fit in it anymore. Which, now that I think about it, maybe I should have put him in the other box. Okay, would have been smart, but I didn't think of that. Okay, so this is a... Why are there toothpicks in here? Like, seriously? What is this? Like, why do we have toothpicks in my trash in this pot? That makes no sense to me. Okay, let's put Noel in here. <laughs> so Noel was my grail doll, and I really wanted to have him for like a long time. I wanted a Apollo, and I love tan skin dolls, and so... Tan skin Apollo is like double awesome. And yeah, so this is Noel, and I named him Noel because it was a Christmas present. He was a Christmas present. Yeah, I love Noel. Noel's really cool. He's a part of the Res Band. Imagine he does a lot of fun stuff. He's got like this really cool, like half smirk where he's like, like doing that thing. He's really cute. I like him too. And if you actually look at him up close, up close, I really want to move it, but. He's got a beauty mark way up here. Right there. He's got one up here that I did. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're my buddy. I'm going to give you a face. Yeah, so I always wanted a Apollo. I was so jealous of everyone's Apollos. People that have Apollo, I was like, oh, wonderful. Yeah, there's no pillow in this one. Hmm. Where's where's Fred's box? Fred is also a dolphin. Oh, I sacrificed his box for somebody else. Oh. Ooh, I've got dolls that don't have boxes right now. I'm looking at them right now, and these are the dolls that I, that I have left over that don't have boxes. This is not going to be good. Okay, first off, I cannot just put Noel in here like this. Nope. Not without a pillow or something. Oh, this was Kai. Oh, God. This was Kai's, and look, this is Kai's scarf that I keep far, far away from him because the the glitter or the gold on the scarf comes off so easily. Yeah, let's well, let's keep that one for Kai then. Ooh. Is he just bubble wrapped in there? I mean I could bubble wrap Noel. I mean I have the bubble wrap here and then I've got another bubble wrap right there. Yeah. Shoot. Mm. His legs, legs are like 
Why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Let me make sure there's no adhesive sticking out. It's gonna melt on him. Make it weird on him. Okay. Wrap you up like a little taco. Nice. So his ankles and everything are all donkey and weird. See, and then I have more bubble wrap here. See? No, it looks like the mummy. And I'm gonna put this last bit on the back of his head. Like that. There you go, Milo. That did not close comfortably. Close closes. Mm. Something feels like it's sticking out weird. I don't know if that's why. It feels like it's in the middle here. Like he's not seated correctly. Oh no. Pop some wrap. Why does it look weird here? Like his chest cavity looks weird here. What's with that? It's weird. Why is it so weird? I don't know why it's so weird right now. I don't know what that is. I don't want to like, I want to make sure it's like flat though. I'm like trying to, if this feels wrong, I'm like feeling around on his. His mid middle joint, I think, is not. Oh, there we go. See? His middle joint is not. He's, his thighs are slated, so he's not. Yeah, I'm pretty full over again. His thighs are not slated. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, see, like it was up. Like this, because yeah, his. Forward. Down. Dang, these harem pants, man. Now that's flat. Yeah, that was really weird. It just felt really weird. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Taco 2.0. Oh yeah, and his arms are wired, so they naturally like Stay in a pose and I had them like up. Okay. I just want to make sure he's like safe. I don't want to like package him and then like when I open him up four months later, he's all like, why did you do this to me? Ankles are always back here. Oh yeah, I don't want to try it. I don't think you can sell that, but I have no need for that. 
And now use in here, and this should close better. Eh, closes a little bit better. The junky spot, not junky spot, it's not done. The diesel B2 boxes, did they come in? Sometimes they're just not, I mean, there's like a little magnet or something in here, and it's supposed to like close, but it doesn't really close, close all the way. So. Oh, this is the fateful box that Kai came in. Oh my god, and it still has like the, oh my god, that's hilarious. It has like uh, his, like the sale. I got him, that's so funny, I got him in 2010. So Kai is five years old. Wow. Five years old. Yeah, it's his gang flesh tone with face up. It's two hundred and five dollars. That's how much my first doll cost me. And then I I happened to buy MSC with it also. Do you know how old Kai is? Oh, I don't know if, you knew, if I knew who I was talking to him. Yeah, five years old. I'm gonna keep that in there. That's really nice. I like looking at that. That was really cool. Okay, so this is Kai, and yeah, he uh, that would explain like his skin tone, you know. I never thought that he really quote unquote yellowed, but yeah, when I bought him the new body, I noticed it didn't really match that much like it it didn't match all that well i mean you look at it right now and his face does look noticeably like yellow or than the um the normal skin body that i got him in but like i still take pictures of stuff i really don't care so um, but yeah he's a uh, i don't know that's pretty amazing i've had him for five years so that means my youtube channel is five years old then dang i'm doing youtube videos for five years that's pretty crazy Sign. So I'm gonna give him a little face protector. He's, he's gonna be easy. And like I said, he's not gonna get boxed up and put away forever, but I am gonna put him in his. Ooh, let's first see if it would be fit in there. Because this new body is a little bit taller. So this is the Daw Family third generation body, and I love it. It is a great body. I'm gonna try sticking them in this. Feet first. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting them in feet first because then that way when I pull him out, his hair didn't come out crazy. Even though technically a lot of people when they box and put their dolls away, they take off their wigs and stuff. But yeah, I do. Okay, into your sleeping bag you go. Look at the little sleeping bag you're going into. Here you go, into your little worm case. And to become a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Look at him, my little, little cocoon. Whoop. There you go. He's in there. Doing a little wormy dance. He looks so big in this case. The little carrying case. It's huge. Kind of funny. Okay, so I'm gonna put. Let's hope he fits in here. Oh, if he doesn't fit in here, I'm gonna success. And he kind of doesn't fit. Oh crap! Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put him in the Miss, not Miss tickets, the Doll Family box. Because I know the fit in that box. Oh, it actually kind of looks the same. Well, let's see what happens. Let's take out his body. And this one. Let's do a body swap. Um, I think it's it's better in this one. But yeah, it's different. 
Like I said, he's not going to be in here forever, but yeah. You guys only have the tiny oil together there. Then back to Eva. Here's my body. Okay. I'm weird. And here's the ribbon. Kai's old body. Well, I guess it's more fitting then. Kai's original body will be in this box. Kai with a new body will be in the box. See, look at that. Oh, so nice. Boom. Oh, God. So many doll boxes. It's so crazy to see this. And all of them just stacked here. Okay, now for the really fun part. Oh, not yet. I still have a Okay. Right. So we've got this one, that one, this one, and this one. This came in. Oh, Tori came in this box. One of these boxes Tori came in. Yeah, Tori probably came in that other box that didn't have a blue in it. Now they think about it. Tori is my, here's my project doll, and right now, like, she's literally being held together by pins. Uh, her, her arm is. I'm actually considering putting um, a payment towards getting her. A new new parts. I don't know if it'll really be worth it though in the end, because she's just got so much staining and stuff. Like if you actually got to look at her, like look at her, look at her. She's got a lot of stains. But I've just grown to love her so much. Like she's so cute. Like I just like the vinyl dolls. The vinyl dolls are so nice. Like I would totally go into collecting vinyl dolls if uh, I had any. <laughs> We're jumping in that so fast, so. but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick her in here like this, this yeah. and then her torso joint is really loose. Like she's she's a hot mess, but she was given to me to try and practice taking out stains, and I got a lot of the stains um, lightened. Like I lightened them, and they're not as dark anymore. But some of them. I mean, it really, nothing, nothing really helped. They're really deep stains and really old stains. And yeah. Let's put that up. So, I'm going to put her in the box. So, because she's my other one that I have, it's a huge doll, like a big doll. So, she'll go in there. So, uh, I have a box for my Tyane. I bought him at Sandy. Diego Comic Con, and he's like my first pull up type doll that I purchased like independently, and I uh, really liked him. There was a whole bunch of other really cool ones, but I thought he looked really awesome, and I was like, dang, I have to have him. He looks so cool, and like all the little accessories and stuff that he came with were really awesome looking too. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put him in. But I thought he looked really magical and stuff. And his hair came out of a little ponytail. So I'm gonna put sure. And then I put the little ponytail back on him. But yeah, he's like, he looks pretty awesome. I love his stuff. I feel like he's So yeah, he is pretty cool. So I'm going to try to put these accessories in here. Okay. I can do it this way. Okay. There we go. So now he is in his box. He's good to go. Where's that? Oh, it's from my tan skin to go behind me. My, my, 
Now he is in a box. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. Okay, in this little book, which I thought was really cute because I've always wanted to get a doll that came in like a book box. Uh, this is where my little um, cute patootie boy came from. My little angel boy, and he came with little angel wings. I don't remember what came here though. Feels like something's missing here. I don't know what went there. Hmm. But yeah, he came in this little box. And I'm gonna put him back in this little box. He is currently wearing Beeb's wig. And I just thought that Beeb's wigs fits him so so nicely, so I'll put him in there. So I'm gonna stick him back in this little box. Why oh, is it so cute? Like just it just goes in there so nicely. Look at that. It's so cute. Uh Actually, yeah, I think we'll be okay with that. So, he goes in his box, and then this one, which was my tan skin resin soul. That's all super bad for him because he needs just everything. He needs work done on him for this. His, um, his body is super loose since the last time I picked him up. I feel like he's gotten really, really loose. Look at that. That's crazy. Yeah, so he's really, really loose and we're really going to cut his skin. So that will be a project for me when I reopen him and bring him back. So. But he's so cute. I wanted a tan skin doll, and so I didn't want to have to spend like a crazy amount of money. I wanted something affordable, and so I purchased a doll and um, with a bobby and I bought a tan skin through them. He was supposed to be an anime character and then I ended up not liking how it turned out and uh, I scrapped the character and I just gave him a new name. His name is Claudio now and he just, he just chills there in the land of MSDs. Oh my god, he's so loose. It's not even good. He's crazy loose. That's really bad loose. Okay, there you go. Okay, he is in. What am I doing? I'm hiding this all stupid. Oh, no, I tried it. No, what am I doing? I tried telling you I'm good. I did so much. Okay, now. That's really weird. I thought I had a box for her. Oops, wrong side. Okay, so now he is in a box. See, I like these boxes. This is nice. Like, cool. I didn't know it said that. Look, what it says. But Bobby Dama, affordable cost, beautiful doll, considerate service. That's really interesting. Bobi endeavors to offer beautiful dolls and best customer service. We hope that Bobi Doll Mall will bring the utmost pleasure to every BJD collector around the world. <laughs> I never really truly looked at the doll box before. Because I was just so excited that I got my Tanskin doll and I was like, Tanskin doll! Let's rip open and love immediately. Well, this is really weird now because I've got, yeah, I think that's what happened. It was that I put my Hujo Amy inside of Therese's box. So that way, that's why Therese's out. Maybe I should keep him out of that box. And then these are my dolls I have left that didn't come with boxes because these Hujo dolls didn't have boxes per se. And neither did he, who's also Hindu. And neither did these, because these were kind of like Ducky Squad exclusives, except for her though. She should have had a doll box. Oh, I knew it. I was like, no, I know she has a box. 
she's also a Mystic Kid. So now I have a Mystic Kids that is an SD, MSD, and USD size. Okay, I was like, no, I know she has a box. She has to. Then I read out a card. So the card's down here. I'm gonna have to weigh all these little things though. She has a new piece. I mean, I could wrap her hand in them, but. And I feel bad for her because I don't have clothes for her. These were like my dollar store clothes that I put on her. So I want to buy her like a nice like outfit. I do like the wig on her though. But I'm going to take off the wig because this is kind of a weird wig. And it's got weird floaty parts. So I'm going to put her in here. Wrap her up like a taquito. Is there only one woman? There's only one woman, that's weird. So I'm going to tie it in her ribbon and then I'm going to stick it in her box. And then I'm going to put her wig. And I'm going to put them in here. Because I actually really like this wig. It looks really cute on her. I got it from Nintendo. So I'm gonna put it like that. So now she's in her box. I knew it. I, I was like reading out. I was like, I know I had a box for her. She came in a box. So this is my Kujo slash Jumping Spot family. We have that box. This is along with these two, which he, I'm gonna get his box out right now. And then she didn't have a box because she was sent to me in, in pieces. So I'm gonna have to package her nicely because she's made out of resin. Yeah, she's just she's my little thing. She's really cool. I really like her. I really want her to have a different outfit though. But it's nice for her to have clothes for now. But yeah. She's my androgynous one. I like her a lot. She's cool. Um Crap. Well, I need to get my, um, oh, I knew I dropped a piece. Oh, bless America. Yeah, look, this came, this goes with my, the Taeyang. I'm going to sneak this back in his box. Because, yeah, this goes to him. It's his little eyepiece. It looks really cool. Like, you can, you can wear, like, a little monocle. What do you call monocles? No. Yeah. Oh my god, so sad, so many doll boxes, they're just sitting here without dolls in them, or with dolls in them. My shelf looks so empty, it's like, it's so The other day, YouTube suggested I watch Mooney's box opening for Hots, and I kept laughing at your disembodied voice. Um, I can has? Uh, Umi can has? Yes. I haven't seen that in a while, I should see that too. Do you know any other companies that... BJD companies that offer anthro dolls besides the Hujo, Fallen Doll, Peepos, and Lutz. Follow up. Hujo should do other animals, and Hujo Piggy would be so cute. A Hujo Piggy would be so cute. Oh, that is, that is a good idea. I don't know what he's working on right now, or if he is working on another doll, uh, anthro doll. Um, other companies besides those that have anthro dolls? Mm, the one that comes to mind is Zoom, but they're really expensive. Zoom has really expensive ones. I know there's like a cat girl, and I don't know if they have any animals. Lutz, Lutz had some, I think. Oh, you already you said no Lutz, no Lutz. Yeah, Zoom, but they're yeah Zoom. Trying anybody else really? Those are the ones that I can really think of. You kind of listed the ones that I already thought about, like Cujo and Fallen Doll and stuff. And, yeah, I don't know, baby. I really don't. No, that's a good idea. Oh my God, it's ten forty-four. I told myself I was gonna end this at eleven, so I'm not sitting here rambling like for five thousand hours. Yeah, those are the those are the only ones that I know of. So. The new body gives Kai yaoi, yaoi hands. I know, they're so big. 
His hands are so humongous. It's so funny to see them on Kai. His, yeah, it's great. Oh my gosh, the his Therese box is all the way on the bottom. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Oh god, these boxes are heavy. Okay, so I'm going to take out. Ooh. I'm going to take her out of this box then. Because I'd rather that I travel in this box then, than her be in this box. She is not light. She is very heavy. Okay, are you kidding? I don't have any other face up things. Face pick up things? No? No, not. Well, I probably do. <laughs> Doesn't even really fit him. Yeah, it's funny because the trio, as much as I love them to pieces, I'm also very YOLO with them and I'm kind of like, meh, whatever. He's not going to be here for too long. He's going to be out a lot faster than everyone's. What the heck is wrong with your knees? He like senses and I'm putting him back in the box. He's like, no, don't put me back in the box. Women need to see how beautiful I am. That's what he would say. Yeah, it's so fluffy with this pillow. This purple pillow is like so fluffy. It's great. Okay. Now I can move this back. Oh man, guys, this looks ridiculous. Like seeing all these doll boxes here. And that's because not all of them are in boxes. These fools need to be in a box. I guess, well, since these are good, guys are ABS, I could put them in the doll carrier bag. I'll just wrap their heads up. Except for her, though. I don't know what I'm going to And her. I don't know what I'm going to do with these two. Maybe she can go in here. It was funny. Rockin' gave me this sleeping bag. And. It's like an MSD size sleeping bag. I'm gonna zipper in it. It's gonna be great. Her head's gonna be. Oh, she's not gonna fit in this. It's like, well, a good part, a good portion of her fits in it. It's better than nothing. And I think she's white skin, so yeah, I really want to make sure that she's in here somehow. <laughs> okay. Can I tighten this? Oh, crazy, I can. I can tighten it. There you go. Snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't understand this. Why am I in this pack? Oh, Hmm. It's weird. I know I had a lot of face protectors, and now I'm like, Searching for them, time. Oh, look, her dog ears are in here. You guys are wondering about who drew Amy's dog ears. Here they are. Like I said, they were somewhere in here, and they were. Rest assured, they were in here. Like everything else in here. Ooh, do I not have any more face? I don't. Well, I guess it's time to start wrapping them in the towel then. Yeah, I don't have anything else. That, that's all I have. I mean, I guess I did get a lot of dolls. I put a lot of dolls with their face up with hookers away. Yeah, I thought maybe I could sneak her in with another doll, but I'm going to be able to do that. It's not going to happen. So, yeah. I really like her face, though. I hope it stays okay with this. I feel like I'm mummifying her. And then I put, I put a band on her face, her neck. Yeah. So that will wrap her up. And then I'll have to box her. I don't know how I'm going to box her. I'm going to have to box her with something. That's going to stink. Not a question, but people's S siren of Syrian choice. Dear Mind, for example. Oh, okay, so I'm assuming you're giving her other Anthrodol companies. Thanks, that's awesome. I didn't know. 
how are the hoojas packaged if they don't have boxes? My Suve had a small box and a pillow, but my Yomi just had a bag in a pillow box. I don't know, because since mine are review dolls, sometimes I don't get the boxes for them. But all of these guys, when they've been shipped to me, they he just sent me them in like a USPS standard box, and they were bubble wrapped in them. I don't know if they actually do have boxes or not, but mine have not. These guys that came in, they were bubble wrapped and inside of a USPS box. So, yeah, and now I think, oh, maybe I have a USPS box. I think I might have used it, but maybe. Shades up. Yeah, I did. I used it. And I don't think these other boxes I have under here. Maybe it's Pretty cool, they did. Oh my god, this is pretty. I've got, I've got some shoe boxes, but unless I sit them in here, I don't think they're going to fit in here. Oh snap, you know, I've got like wedding. Yeah, I've got like wedding memorabilia in one of these boxes. And I know this one has something kind of creepy in it because it does. I'm going to pick these out and discreetly put them somewhere else. Let's see what it's okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to put them in these boxes. I think this is the best thing to do. See, like, she's not going to fit in there. But my MSD is being there. You know, unless I... I'm trying to think like a good way to put her away. See, because I don't think she'll fit even if I collapse her and put her in here. Oh yeah, no, she fits. I just feel horrible because she's like sitting in here like this and her elastic is being stretched. Yeah, I'm not too fond about that actually. And once I put a little bit of paper towel in between it, and maybe that will help it from, like, add a cushion. So that way she's not necessarily sitting in there super bad, maybe. I don't know how I'm going to do this, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even going to work, guys. Like this. like this. Dang, I just wish I had another doll box, honestly. See, because like if I put it in like this, unless I pull it all the way around. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Put it all the way around. That way it's not sitting on the doing at all. You see me MacGyvering the crap out of this? Like, so desperately trying to get her to sit in here. Yeah. Not a hundred percent satisfied with this. But she's in here. I have her in here. Not sure if I like this or not. I'm gonna wrap up her arms though. So she's not touching the black box. Yeah. I'm gonna put her in here like this, I think. It's better than like trying to shove her in that. That doll bag over there, I think. I'll just make sure she's got lots of padding. Yeah. I think this will be okay. She's 
she like I said, she didn't come to me with a box, so I'm just gonna put her in here like this. And that will be her. For my other ones, those guys can go into the thing. Now she can go into the sleeping bag, and that can be her bed. So I'll put her in here with the wig. And tighten it up. Boom. So now it's like uh, the other bag that I had, the little MSB bag that I had. So I've got a doll in here now. It's funny. Okay, my other ones, I'm just going to literally just... I don't think, I don't want to put any more in this box, but she can go in this box. Yeah. So now I've got one box with the dawn. Well, that would be the best. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm still confused on what to do with my Hujo. Amy, though, she's huge. What am I doing here? Yep, 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 yep. Are there any companies that sell creepy like sculpts other than Doll Chateau? Uh, Doll Zone is starting to sell some kind of really interesting characters. And from what I understand, I think they're actually sister companies for Doll Chateau. I think they're, yeah, sister companies. Yeah, they have some interesting dolls. Yeah, they have some really interesting sculpts for sure. Both show. I wanted to know because I want a Kujo Amy body for the floating head I'm getting. Yeah, it just came to me just like that. So I don't know if they really do have bo boxes or not, but I don't have boxes for them. Hence, I'm trying to figure out how to pack mine. So. <laughs> Shelf looking so empty. I felt terrible packing away my dolls for when I moved and then was terribly paranoid the entire time. Yeah, look at that. I'm not used to seeing it like that. It's really weird for me to see nothing in really, so. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I feel like really down right now. I put away everything. This is really old news, but did you see the joined hands that Resin Soul came out with? No, I did not. No, but now you have me intrigued and I will have to go investigate because no, I did not know that. That sounds really cool. I will have to go check that out. Oh, show. Oh, show. Okay, I followed on both my Tumblr, the other one, and the same as as YouTube. Okay, so I think maybe you do. Are you saying that you do have the name, same name? I'm going to have to look you up afterwards. For show. I will look up. Look up, look up. Five years old. Wow, I just got into dolls this year. Yep, and then in dolls for a while. You know. Yay. I believe Dalmore has Antho dolls, I think. Yeah, you know what? I think Dalmore has some too, maybe. I don't know exactly, but yeah. Maybe. I got two more minutes, guys, and I pretty much did pack up all my dolls in this time. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. <sighs> what do you guys do for those who are watching right now and then for people that watch this later on? as a recorded piece. What do you do in the meantime, like when you're moving and then your dolls are packed away? Do you like get into the, into like a funk and then you're like watching doll openings, like doll box openings or do you, do you um, impulse buy and start buying other dolls in the meantime? And like, I just would like to know what other people do. Because, yeah, I have a feeling like I'm just going to be very kind of like, hmm, about everything kind of just like, hmm. I think I'm going to try to go to some doll meets. And maybe that will be not so bad. But, yeah, I just feel really kind of, I'm gonna blase right now because I've got all my dolls packed. You know. I feel like a part of me is kind of like going away. So, yeah. Leave a comment on the bottom. 
with what you do while you um while you're in doll limbo kind of just waiting for stuff when you're moving and stuff when you're waiting what do you do right now i feel like i'm gonna probably just I want to do YouTube videos. I still want to do that, but I just feel like I'm going to be very like sad because I'm not in my room with my dolls and stuff. It's going to be hard to do videos, not going to lie. I actually even thought about like, what was I going to do since I'm going to be in my mom's house? Like, how am I going to edit videos? Cause I don't have, I won't have my stuff. Like, I don't have my, um, my computer to edit my stuff on, so I'm probably going to have to put a editing program, like, on my mom's computer or something and borrow her computer and edit on there. Because, yeah, I'm not going to have anything. Yeah, so sad. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, leave me a comment, I'll let you guys do. If you're here already, like, leave me a comment and tell me what you guys do. Well, because it's not like you're necessarily waiting, like, for a doll to come in. Like, what do you do, like, in transition periods when you, um, no longer have your stuff with you? What do you do? I really want to put this on the face. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I mean, I guess I could put her in this tote bag. Like, sit her and put her in the kitchen. This has a bunch of doll stuff in it, but then I'm kinda like, mm. I have like absolutely no box for her. Like, zero box. Unless I put her in this box, as if I poison it. I could do it. She's ABS, so I'm not like as worried about, you know, her getting damaged and stuff, but still, I prefer for her to be in a box of some kind. sad. Yeah, I want to tape up this stuff, and I'll probably put her in that big box. That's probably going to be the safest place for her, honestly, because all the other places are going to be, um, too scrunched for her. I have to bend her and fold her in that way. So I'm gonna just put her there like that. So I'm gonna tape up her little lines in here. Yeah, because she's got claws and stuff and I'm scared of the claws breaking. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put her over her little mitts on. So yeah. If you've had Kai for five years, that means I've also been in the hobby for that long. Oh, gee, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly Pals. Yeah, for reals. Yeah, we've been in the hobby for a while now, man, I guess. So you read a lot of fan fictions or work on other stories. Man, fan fictions. Oh, geez. You know, one of these days, I, because that is one of the fun stuff, one of the fun highlights, I guess, is it moving back into my house. My little sister is still there. And um, I told her that that'd be really fun to do videos with her, but like to do like other videos with her. And so I wanted to do like a bunch of really silly videos together. And I told her, yeah, let's do it, you know. And so I'll be able to do some stuff with her, which will be nice. I'm going to look forward to doing that for sure. Maybe I do. I will need something to keep me distracted from the fact that none of my dogs are going to be with me. So, yeah. No! <laughs> what did you finish putting your thing on your feet? I'm going to it like this. Yeah, I just don't want her, her dog feet to wake up. So, yeah, I'm going to put her in this box. It has like mainly plushies in it. And, whoa, what's this? Oh, this is um. 
Let me move some of the clutches around and make some space. I'll put it right here. Oh, shoot. Is she going to fit in there? Gosh, it's so big. I think I can fit in there. Oh, my God. Where did I put them in? Okay. She should be okay like that. Oh, God, guys. This has been a really sad podcast. But I'm really glad that you guys were here. People that stopped by to be in the broadcast with me. Yeah, so I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to be here with me. Now you can see that. Oh, shoot. Now you can see that all my dolls are in boxes. So sad, guys. I'm not used to seeing them like this. So they're all in boxes, put away, and um, so that's that. And I have uh, Kai, Tre, and Yue in these boxes, because they're going to come with me. I cannot just not have any of my dolls for four months. That's going to be insane. And that's my shelf that once had all my dolls in it, and now it's completely empty. Even my manga is gone out of it, so... Yeah, even this little area where my, my smaller dolls would stand and hang out, they're not here anymore either. So, it's really sad, guys. I even had to straighten up a lot of the stuff off my, off my hobby desk here, because... Like I said, I, I'm going to have people starting to come in and showcase the house. And so I don't want to have all my dolls out here. One, because I don't want them to be all being like, you know, oh, what is this person collecting dolls? Like, you know, what a weirdo. I don't want to buy this house. Like, I don't want to have people being like that. And then two, um, I don't want them to, I don't want them to risk getting damaged if I leave them here. So. I'm going to read up the comments that you guys have right now, and then I'm probably going to close out my session. So I do want to say thanks, but let me go ahead and see what you guys have to say, and then I'll say my formal goodbyes. And Yeah. Uh, when I'm away from my dolls, I like to plot photo stories or work on backstory. That would be a good idea, I think, for me to work on backstory, because I have the story MFEO that I'm supposed to be writing, and it's supposed to be about those three. So I think maybe this will be some good time to have time to focus on that. That's a great idea, I think. Domors anthros are called catfish, right? I don't know. I didn't even know Delmore had anthros also. There's so many dolls and stuff I really don't know about. And it's really fun when people tell me about them because I like Googling them and looking at them. So now I'm going to look that up because that's really cool. That sounds awesome. I asked because I'm getting my first BJD and from Doll Zone. He is the Benjamin boy, and I cannot wait to get him. Oh, the Benjamin! I even know. I know what that one is because I wanted to get a Doll Zone boy. And the Benjamin, yeah, he's cool again. Oh, I keep one doll out and have them with me, and I look for new dolls to buy. Uh, see, I'll have my three out, and so I'll be drooling over the smart doll AG. So, yeah. Maybe, who knows? Maybe he'll, he'll be there with me, too, waiting if I get to buy him. We'll see. Ah, I always turn up with these things late. I'm sorry. No. Sorry. Sorry. I draw them constantly while well, keep them in mind. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do, too. And I'm pretty sure my sister will be helping me, you know, not be so depressed. <laughs> About having all my dolls gone. She'll probably draw my dolls. I told her that she needs to do updated pictures of my dolls because I love the pictures that she has of my dolls, but her style has changed so much. And yeah, I'd like to see her draw them too. So yeah. And then you guys some more stuff I had. But anyway, thanks guys. I really appreciate you guys coming out and supporting me. I'm like, I feel so empty right now. So. Yeah. Until I get to move into my mom's house, then I'll take out Kai, Tre, and Yue. So for a little bit, even them, they're going to be 
they're, they'll be in their boxes like they are right now. So it's just kind of sad. I'm, I'm liking, you know, I'm so, I'm so used to having them out, like so used to having them out, like walking in this room and seeing them there, but now they're not going to be here. So, uh, it kind of drives me crazy. So yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for coming on by and I will, I will continue to do YouTube videos, BJD YouTube videos. Um, I just won't be in this area. I'll be filming them in a different room and stuff in my mom's house so yeah <laughs> thanks guys for coming on by i'm looking at these comments that people are posting right now it's okay i hope the rest of the move goes well and you can free them from boxes soon me too i hope they can get free too waiting on a new delta mod oh how exciting that's so awesome uh it'll get better for you simba i hope you can cheer up bye yeah thanks guys bye Yes, a new adventure for sure. So, bye guys. Thanks again.